is on the back of a rescue company that we have. We are first on scene. And we saw the fire and we started hitting the fire and it went down right away, knocked down real quick right away. This whole time we didn't realize everything is covered with like a, a grease, very, very slippery. And I see Darren holding on to the railing. But it was all over my gloves. His hands slid like this, and I saw him in his helmet disappear into the smoke down into the pit. I just remember yelling, Mike, I'm out of air, I'm out of air, I'm out of air. And he grabbed his quick fill hose. Pulled the hose out, flipped the cap off, snapped it in, gave it to him. He snapped in. Instantaneous breath of fresh air. It was just wonderful. It was just like, wow, OK, uh, I'm going to be OK. Darren Bex is a firefighter in Erie, Pennsylvania, who was saved by his SCBA. He's never been to MSA's operation in Murraysville, PA. He's never met Mike or Vicki, John or Steve. They're some of the people who make SCBA. I've been here 38 years. Stevie's been here 40 years. Madeline, 38. Ross, 38. And Annie, 36. And those years of expertise add up to centuries of service. If anybody's been in any company for that long of time, you know, that's, that's something to say nowadays, I think. A sense of pride in what they're doing. Gail Slater is a 30-year associate. She manages the SCBA production line in Murraysville. The more that the operators know how to build on this line, the better the product will be. MSA has been the world's leading provider of high-quality safety products since 1914. Serving workers in fire service, the military, energy, construction, and many other industries. To ensure reliability and effectiveness, many SCBA components are crafted within the company. Paul Fidelli is production supervisor in the machine shop. We are what we do. We're not just making widgets for someone down the road. We're actually making something that's part of a life-saving device, and we are making the best product that we possibly can every day, every part. Commitment to quality is just part of the company's success story. What we do on a daily basis is try to improve what we've done over the years. And Here improvement is key. Second stage regulator. Everyone on the SCBA production line goes through what's called progression training. You have your bypass here. This particular model is a CBRN. It's a carefully executed program during which associates gain their expertise in stages. One of the key initiatives of the associate progression program is that our operators are fully cross-trained on every operation within the SCBA. This progression program encompasses at least 15 different operations within the line and also encompasses about 15 different training classes to help enhance their skills. Associates spend one year in progression training before becoming certified to make SCBA. Add to that 50 more hours of classroom training where they learn other aspects of the company, everything from safety to managing inventory. The training procedures that we go through are very thorough. We learn how to read a drawing, how to read a spec, how to use calibrated tools. We learn every aspect of testing. Mike Johnson is one of the newer team members on the SCBA line. He's already completed progression training. Mike says that beyond the technical level, the training also has a strong focus on the human level and what the product means to the customer. And it taught me how very important this equipment is, who it affects, who am I making it for. Now this might look like a piece of plastic to somebody who doesn't know, but this is very important safety equipment. And I know how this was made. I know who made this. I know what it does, the testing procedures that it went through here, and how important it is to a fireman's life. My name is Diane Schaefer. I've been with MSA for 40 years. Diane is at the beginning of the SCBA production line, which uses an assemble-to-order process. What I do, I scan this 
barcode and it comes up on a screen and it tells you what the customer needs on that particular SCBA. From the back plate to the face mask, regulator or cylinder, the high-tech operation makes sure everyone on the line knows just what the customer ordered. And with more than a million possible combinations of SCBA, was a lot of responsibility. It's imperative that every associate have a strong knowledge of each component, right down to the smallest screw. A very flexible workforce. They can move from station to station without anybody directing them to do so. Where they see an opening on the line and a, a piece of equipment ready to have the next phase added to it, they are able to jump right on, pick it up, and add those components to complete that SCBA. Uh, that is extremely efficient. More than efficient. Every associate knows how one process affects another. Everything that I do here has a huge impact on the next person. They not only know what goes on on their station, but they know what the operation in front of them does, they know what the operation behind them is for, and they know what the operations are across the aisles. Make sure that your lights are functioning. Here, engineers are testing the integrity of the control module, which executes the SCBA's many life-saving features, like the heads-up display, where lights inside the mask warn users that their air supply is getting low, or the pass alarm, that sounds when someone wearing an SCBA is motionless for more than a few seconds. The control module functions as the brain of the SCBA. We have multiple stations where we calibrate, functionally test, and environmentally cycle the control module. Because the SCBA is often used in extreme conditions, environmental testing is especially important. We're going to run a three-hour test, which is going to cover extreme heat and cold. Um, we're going to test for, uh, on the cold cycle, at 30 below zero, and at the heat cycle, at 160. As you can see, this is a completed test where all units have passed, all the blocks have remained green. As an SCBA is made and assembled on the production line, all critical components are double-checked before they move to the next station. When I am done with this piece, I know that it is built to specs, it's tested, and it's ready to go out the door. When I see the MSA logo, I'm very proud to know that that's the company that I work for, that I'm a part of that safety team. I love that camaraderie that goes on in the production facility. You're kind of like a family. At the end of the day, when I leave here, I know that I build a quality product. MSA's vision is to continue being the world's leading innovator and provider of quality safety and instrument products and services that protect and improve people's health, safety, and the environment. Its mission is that every man and woman may work in safety. When I look at the associates on our line, I know that they care. They're very aware of the customers that we serve. Some of my friends are firefighters that wear MSA gear, most likely I probably made it. Everything that touches our hand, we're accountable. The different people who use this equipment, they're putting their lives on the line for people like myself. And that's something the associates here don't take for granted. The people who depend on the MSA team feel the same way too. You can say thank you, but it doesn't really do justice how I really feel about it. And you talk about, you know, like a saving grace. I truly believe that it saved my life. <laughs>